Welcome back to another exciting yellow playthrough by The Killer Nacho, yours truly. So the first thing we're going to do is cycle on Cycling Road. And this will be very hard to control because I'm playing really fast right now. Um, but you know what, I don't care because Cycling Road is also really annoying and Pikachu just fainted because he sucks. He could not kill that Machop with Quick Attack, and that was rather pathetic of Pikachu. So Pikachu paid the ultimate price, and that is being fainted, because he can't actually die, unfortunately, in this game. So anyway, so now I have a Machoke to deal with, but Royal Pain, Royal Pain, is pretty good at that. And I have to waste a revive on Pikachu, because it's useless. And now I am going to use a Super Potion on Pikachu to ensure that it doesn't die anymore. And I'll just use a Super Potion on the rest of my party, too, because I do have quite a few trainers to fight on Cycling Road. Um, and Cycling Road is one of the more annoying places in the game, in my opinion anyway, because it's like split up into like three or four different routes that you can take, and like it's always pointing down, like it's downhill from uh, Celadon to Fuchsia City, so it's really annoying to go back and fight all the trainers, so I am just speeding it up, because most of the trainers are just kind of dumb, and um, they're just experienced, really. That's the only reason I'm killing their Pokemon. But anyway, so Flower Dino is like really cool wall dot Pokemon, and it just destroys that cue balls um, Primeape pretty easily with you know toxic not sorry not toxic but poison, and um, yeah Leech Seed. So here is a level 33 Muck that hopefully Pikachu can just flash and hacks to death, but I guess not. He decides to get hit by Pound after two flashes and a paralyze, and then get crit by it. So Pikachu's down for the count again the second time this video because that's how bad Pikachu really is. And Trogdor, come on, Trogdor, you should have been able to finish that off with Ember, but uh, well. So I had to waste another revive on Pikachu, and somehow when I bought these revives, I knew I'd be using them mostly on Pikachu. I mean, I just had this feeling. And, um, yeah, it turned out to be true. So there's like a million signs I don't feel like reading over there. And this person needs exercise, so I'm going to give him exercise by KOing his Pokemon. That makes no sense, but you know what? That don't care. Um, so, yeah, so Pikachu actually can kill Mankeys in one hit. That's kind of good, I guess. Um, but Flower Dino is just going to come in, kill the rest of the Mankeys, I guess, or Bachokes or whatever, really. Um, the nice thing about fighting types is that they really don't have, um, what's it? They don't really have good specials, so... Um, my special dudes can kill them pretty easily, and a uh, nice thing about Razor Leaf is because of the way the crit system works in this game, like, I think actually when it gets to Venusaur, it virtually can't not crit. Like, it always crits, except for like that 1 in 256 chance. Um, so that's pretty cool, actually, because Razor Leaf is like a guaranteed crit for uh, Flower Dino. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I will explain because I have time while Fatty just annihilates these guys. Um, but anyway, so what I am talking about is um, the mechanics of Red, Blue, Yellow were not quite as polished. Uh, they were much different than, you know, future games where stuff is, like, more polished and stuff. Basically, a uh, Pokemon's chance to crit in this game is based on its base speed. Like, not even its uh, real speed, it's actually base speed. So, like, faster Pokemon have, like, ridiculous chance to crit in this game. In fact, like, especially with those increased crit moves, like, if you have, like, a base speed of 70 to 80, I think it's actually almost impossible to not crit with that move. Unless you miss. And, um... The thing about Red, Blue, Yellow is that even moves that have supposed to be 100% accuracy all have a chance to miss in this game. It's like the 1 in 256 chance, and the reason they do, the reason that is uh, the case is because in order to determine if a move hits in this game, um, I don't know how many of you guys are computer people, but um, so computer bytes are stored in bytes, so everything's in the um, divisible by 4, usually. So, um, the, gen the game will generate a number from 1 to, sorry, 0 to 255, so that's 256 uh, different possibilities. And the game, no matter what, though, 255 is a miss. So any move in this game, except for, I think, Swift, because Swift um, bypasses this mechanic altogether, uh, actually has a very small chance to miss. So it's a very interesting fact. But um, So it's Pokemon that like, have a 100% crit from a move, like Venusaur will, we'll still have a very small chance to miss, so, um, it's just interesting stuff, um, red, blue, yellow mechanics are actually vast, that's not the only thing, but red, blue, yellow mechanics are vastly different, and I don't know, I mean, sure, it's unpolished, it's not really great, but, um, you know, it's, it's what, part of what gave red, blue, yellow its charm is, is, 
its unique mechanics. I mean, it's, it's native to only this generation. But anyway, so Pallet Town's like over there, and that's kind of weird, and yeah, I see people swimming, and that's also kind of weird, but not really. Alright, so now we can go out here, and there's some people over here that I would like to annihilate to get experience, you know, because that's how I roll and stuff. And this person says him is Turf, and I didn't even know bird keepers like had things called Turf. And I'm just going to send Fatty, because he's fat, and Fatty's like, I'm just going to annihilate people with headbutt. And that's what he was actually doing on that route, if you guys were paying attention and not actually paying attention to my feel about the game's mechanics. Um, but yeah, so Fatty is actually really ridiculous. He's like a beast. I like Amnesia, he can't be touched by special attacks, and then like, you know... He has a ridiculous amount of hit points, a decent defense. So pretty much everything is just going to have a hard time killing Fatty because he's so fat. I mean, like, if you ever see fat people, you try to punch them, it doesn't do anything. I don't know, like, because they have padding. It just doesn't work. That's why other sumo wrestler people have, like, really fat stuff and, you know, what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, so Fatty's good because he's fat. And that's just how he rolls. So let's go in. Uh, here's Spiro, and yeah, another thing. So I'm just going to headbutt it, and that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so here comes a Firo, another chicken type Pokemon. I got rid of my chicken, but apparently these people still like using chickens because they're bird catchers and they have nothing better to do. Um, I really should let Pikachu get this experience, but I don't even like Pikachu, so I don't care. And that Pikachu would probably die to that uh, crit. Um, what, Fury attack. Fatty, like, is actually really low right now. But you know what? I hate grass. And that guy was talking about how much, you know, he likes going in the grass in new places. And to show how much I hate grass, I'm going to annihilate all the grass and then kill this guy. And that is the most ridiculous bird call I've ever heard, my friend. Actually, I didn't hear it. I read it, but it still sounded ridiculous. So this is a level 34 Dodrio, and Fatty survives with one hit point. Oh, man. Fatty is the is a beast. Actually, when I um, caught him, he survived with one hit point also, so that's that's a good sign from Fatty. So now I'm just going to wake him up with a Poke Flute, because that's pretty cheap, you know, for S plus Poke Flute. I mean, that's pretty awesome in this game. And um, I think Roadkill can hopefully survive a Drill Pack, since it resists it, but probably won't be able to survive two. And it outspeeds me, but is stupid and doesn't use Drill Pack. So, good job, Pikachu. You're able to defeat them because of the opponent's stupidity, not because you're actually good. In fact, you know, if the opponent actually did the right play, that would be the third time this video Pikachu would have fainted, and that's just pathetic. Pikachu, you are terrible! So here's a Rattata, and I'm just going to sit on it with Fatty. And that's really going to hurt it. In fact, it's probably dead after that. I mean, it's not just fainted. I mean, it probably broke its spine, and it's just annihilated. Then again, it's not really body slamming. It's headbutting. But even then, I mean, if you get headbutted from, a, like, 5,000... Well, how much does it weigh? Like, doesn't Snorlax almost weigh a ton? I don't remember. I don't feel like looking it up either, but... Yeah, Snorlax weighs a lot. So this guy's like, you better raise your Pokemon evenly because you can't win with this one strong Pokemon. But of course, you know, everybody when they were a kid just trained their starter to like level 100 by this point and beat the game with that. Like I know I did. Actually, it was about level 77 at this point, give or take, but still. That guy is completely wrong. It is completely possible to train just one Pokemon to ridiculous levels and just use that. But, anyway, so this is like, I guess this is like Bill's parents' house or, um... Oh, so this is his grandfather, and Bill is like that Pokemon dude we met earlier, that guy that was a Pokemon. But anyway, so this is a gym. I like fighting gyms. Let's do it. And apparently there's invisible walls in this gym, but you can actually see them if you look closely. In fact, now that I'm on an emulator, it's actually really easy to see. So, uh, yeah, this is not really much of a um, puzzle at all. But this person's like, you need strategy to win, not just brute strength. And I'm going to prove him wrong. Although this guy's Hypno always managed to screw me over in every game, I'm going to beat it this time. Um, so I'm going to use Amnesia so it's psychic or whatever, it doesn't hurt me. And then I'm going to headbutt, because headbutt looks to be a three-hit KO. But of course it gets the poison off, which is kind of annoying. But another hit should be able to do it. And it headbutts me and gets a crit, which is annoying. And flinches. What is this? Annoyance. And psychic um, gets a crit as well, and kills me. Wow, that is so gay. You didn't win. You did not win due to strategy. You won because of luck. There is a severe difference. But of course, this guy's freaking Hypno screws me over yet again. <sighs> but I guess I'll send in, like, a Pokemon that can just kill it. But of course, Pikachu does not kill it. Freaking Pikachu, you suck so freaking much. So much. But anyway, so Pikachu's going to come and finish it with two Thunderbolts, which is ridiculous, because Pikachu's a worthless piece of crap, and yeah, now I actually have to heal, and I'm going to heal uh, Snorlax, because 
Yeah, Snorlax is a beast, and I don't really want it to be dead due to crits, and that's sad. Yeah, I guess I could have used a revive, but I was right next to a Pokemon Center, so there's really no point. I mean, if you know what I mean. So let's go over here, and there's like another ninja wantabe that's going to ambush me in this gym. And he's actually another juggler, and he has a drowsy. And like, this is supposed to be a poison gym, but like, actually most of the people in this gym are like psychic types. Um, which is odd, but true. True fact, indeed. So, yeah, I'm just going to, like, kill stuff, and then I get to level 32 with Fatty. Good job, Fatty! Um, so Fatty was able to kill a Drowsy, maybe not a Hypno, but, yeah. So let's go into Stupid, because, like, Stupid is still stupid, because it's level 32 and not level... Th or, sorry, level 31 and not 32. So I'm going to Bubble Beam, and actually that's not doing a whole lot, so let's switch to Body Slam. So apparently... Yeah, that's right. Drowsy should have probably lower defense than Special, I would think. So that's why, yeah, Body Slam is probably the better move there. Yeah. Then again, I'm not 100% sure, but I know Kadabra has low defense, and that so I should be able to body slam these guys. And that'll be a 2-hit KO, um, but Confusion does a buttload to me. Wow, that is a lot. That's because Kadabra actually has really good special, and that really hurts. But anyway, there's another Drowsy. I should be able to 3-hit KO, and Confusion almost kills me, and I am going to switch because I really don't want Stupid to die. Stupid isn't that stupid. He's not going to stay in at 3-hit points. Um, but yeah, so he's going to disable my Dig, which is actually the move I kind of wanted to use. But Seismic Toss is almost as good. It always does 31 damage. It always does damage equal to my uh, hit point. No, my uh, not my hit points, my level. So, um... Yeah, so it's always going to do 31, which is not bad against, like, defensive, annoying things like Drowsies and Hypnos, really, so... But that's not so bad, and... Yeah, this gym is, like, really the status gym. That's, that's... It's not really a, much of a type as it is status. Like, there's so much status in this gym, whether it's sleep and... I think, like, there's sleep, paralyze, and poison in this gym. Like, I know it's supposed to be a poison gym, but... Really, the theme of this gym is, like, status. Just status things, and then that's freaking annoying. Um, but that's how they roll. So this is an Arbuck, which is actually a poison type, which is kind of cool. And I'm going to try to headbutt it because, yeah, it's actually going to be a 2 at KO, I think. But of course he's going to poison me off the Poison Sting, which is kind of annoying, but at least I kill the Arbuck. And I will stay in with Fatty because I do want to kind of um, heal off my poison. And, yeah, so my headbutts really aren't doing a whole lot, so... I probably should just rest off my poison and, um, yeah, so he doesn't kill me with a crit, which I just know is going to happen. Because, I, yeah, these guys have Slash, and that's like a guaranteed crit against Snorlax, I think. Um, but, yeah, so let's go into Flower Dino, because he's a dino of flowers, and I'm going to, like, Mega Drain, which is super effective and will heal me some nice hit points, and he's just going to Scratch for whatever reason, I don't know why, and Scratch doesn't do a whole lot. So, uh... This is a Arbuck, and, um, I'm just gonna go into Trogdor, so I can dig stuff. Because Trogdor is really, like, the ultimate Pokemon that gets poisoned, except I miss. And I don't even know what Dig's miss chance is, but it's pretty darn low. And now I'm paralyzed, so I actually do get a hit off when I'm paralyzed, which is kind of nice. But of course I'm going to get fully paralyzed, and I probably shouldn't even be trying to use Dig when I'm fully par like when I'm paralyzed, because it's like, you know, doubled the chance I won't be able to get the move off. So i probably just switch now, because, yeah, he's not really doing much. I'll go into Royal Pain, because Royal Pain can't be poisoned, because it's like poison type. But apparently this Arbuck doesn't know that, tries to poison me anyway, and just dies. And I like when things die to royal pain. It's pretty cool, actually. But um, I do have, like, an antidote or two in here, probably. And unfortunately, I guess the Poke Flute doesn't work for my inventory. I didn't think it did, but, yeah, it doesn't hurt to try. But I luckily, I do have one Awakening left, and I kind of figured that, you know, it wouldn't work for my inventory, which is why I kept the Awakening. You never know when your Pokemon's going to fall asleep and you just, you know, want to heal it out of battle, so... Yeah, so I'm just going to heal Trogdor up, because Trogdor's been a pussy, and, um, yeah, I'm going to Awakening my Fatty, because, yeah, I don't want Fatty to be asleep. This is not an opportune time to sleep, Fatty! Wait, wait, I don't use... Wait, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, here's a Sand Slash. And I'm gonna go into Fatty, because it's this my first Pokémon. I probably should change that, actually, because it's already level 32. 
But, um, yeah, Flower Diner just got annihilated by that crit slash, and maybe he won't go for it again and go for, like, the regular scratch because, you know, they like to. And, nope, he's gonna slash again. That's kind of annoying. Um, but you know what? I'm just going to stay in and risk it. And he goes Sand Slash because he's dumb, and, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I should be able to survive another slash now, so I'm going to try to kill it, and I don't survive it. Oh, okay. So let's go into Stupid, because Stupid is also good against Sand Slash, but, of course, Sand Slash is faster than a bunch of my stuff and gets another crit because, you know, it can't possibly not crit, I think. Um, but yeah, here's an Arbuck, and Arbuck is another poison type, and, um, yeah, let's see, Trogdor, can you, like, redeem yourself? Of course not, because somehow you're slower than an Arbuck. Um, and then you miss. You don't, why? Why do you miss with Dig? It's not, it doesn't, it has pretty good accuracy. I don't even know what its accuracy is, so I'm gonna look it up right now, because you would need to stop missing with freaking Dig. Um, let's see, moves, Dig, Come on, you will tell me, Smogon. Oh, goody, Smogon says Dig is a 100% accuracy move. So remember that 1 out of 256 thing I was talking about? Yeah, I just got screwed over it twice. Maybe even three times. I don't. I haven't been paying attention, but I haven't been hitting, because apparently Trogdor's paralysis is like 50% right now, because... What the heck? <laughs> and he's not even hitting me with Bite. This is, like, ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing's happening. We're both missing. What is this? We're both, like, missing, or I'm getting fully paralyzed, and finally Trogdor does something and kills it. Oh my god, that was weird. <laughs> anyway, I don't think Bite's 100% accuracy, too. I'm gonna check. Bite is, yeah, 100% accuracy. What about Poison Sting? Um, yep, Poison Sting's 100% accuracy, so... Yeah, I was just like the game, hating on everything in that fight right there. And I, I'm pretty sure that Paralysis was still 25%, you know, chance to be fully paralyzed in this game. Although I guess I could be wrong about that, but it seemed like I was getting paralyzed like every other turn, which is pretty bad. But anyway, now that that's over, which took like for a long time, you know, for a battle from Trogdor and Arbuck... We will fight this other juggler dude, and he has a drowsy, which I'm beginning kind of used to drowsies, and, um, yeah, Trogdor is first in the party, but, you know, Seismic Toss is a pretty, you know, decent move, because it always does 31 right now, so... It looks to be about a three-hit KO, and he's going to withdraw into Hypno, so that was like a free seismic toss, and that's not bad. Of course, Hypno probably has more hit points, and that doesn't that looks to be a four or five-hit KO. But I'm just going to keep using seismic toss, because apparently they can't hit me, because I'm Trigdor's being lucky as crap right now when it comes to evasion. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so he withdraws again, which is really stupid. I mean, you're just, he's just giving me free freaking seismic tosses, I guess. And this is like a two-more-hits-dead Hypno. He tries to disable and fails, so, wow, I just kind of went seismic toss, and Trogdor is, like, invincible. He just wouldn't be touched. He's just like, I'm just going to seismic toss your pokes, and there's nothing you can do about it, especially since you switch, which makes no sense. Like I said, there's only, like, a handful of trainers that actually switch in this game. I guess the juggler is one of them, but as you can see, they really don't switch with much uh, strategy at all. Anyway, so this is Koga, and he's like, You dare to challenge me? I am a true ninja master! And I, you will lose to my poison and sleep techniques, mwa ha 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 Except, fail for him, I can't be poisoned and sleep at the same time. So this is a Venonat, and he's gonna give it an X attack for whatever reason, and I'm going to leech seed it, and then try to poison it. And then I forgot these things have psychic, and this thing is like 10 levels lower, so I'm probably dead, except I didn't die. Because he gave it an X attack for some reason, not an X special, which would have made a lot more sense considering you're trying to use Psychic on me. Anyway, so let's go into Fatty, because I think Fatty can pretty much... I don't think Fatty is that scared of a Venonat at all, actually. Um, but he does have Tackle, so I guess he used that X attack for Tackle, which makes no sense. But he lowered my special, but too bad I used Amnesia. And Amnesia, like, after I get one or two of them, they won't be able to touch him with their little Psychic attacks. And I don't even care about their X attack tackle. You think if he uses X attack on a Pokemon, you know, you'd think that, you know, it would actually have decent attack move, but I guess I don't get it. I don't get it, guys. Because X attack won't raise the um, power of, like, psychic and other special moves. But anyway, so this thing is, like, leech sheeted, so I'm just going to, like, focus on keeping Fatty healthy, because that's what Fatty does best, really. He just sleeps and stuff, and that's, you know, that's, he likes to. So I will pay the Pokey Flute now to wake him up, and now that I have like a billion amnesias up, actually I think I have two, but he did lower my special once, but still. I have some pretty nice special, and he's gonna sleep patter me, and now I am asleep again, but yeah. 
and he's going to sleep powder me again after I wake up, so that's kind of annoying, really. But I have the polka flute, so his sleep powders really, like, don't matter, and I'm just healing much more... Like, I'm healing about what tackle does to me, except that was a crit tackle, so it doesn't count. And he's going to toxic me, so that is going to do a lot of damage over time, except I have rest, so I don't know why he did that. Silly, silly Venonat, how silly you are indeed. Because I do have rest, and now I'm just going to, like, cure that stupid freaking toxic. And, uh, yeah, so let's play the polka flute to wake me up again. Isn't this fun, guys? Fatty is just walling this piece of crap Venonat. Even though, like, this Venonat's, t what, 12 levels higher? You know, I probably sh supposed to do something else before fighting Koga. I th probably I should be doing the, um, was it, Safari Zone quest? Before Koga, I mean, I don't like. I think that's the ordering the game designers had in mind, but yeah, it doesn't matter. As soon as you enter Fuchsia, you can beat Koga. It's not he's not that hard. He's just kind of more annoying than anything else. Same with his minions. But um, yeah, he poisoned me again, and of course the Venonat died on this turn. So I'm going to go into his next Pokemon Poison. But it's another Venonat. Although it's two levels higher, I guess it could be more scary. And he's going to confuse me, and I'm just going to headbutt it. And that's a two-hit KO. <laughs> these Venonats are worthless. I don't know why these are, like, not Venomoths by now, but, yeah. Apparently Koga's, like, doesn't care about evolving Pokemon. That Psybeam's going to do, what, all of four damage because of my amnesias? <laughs> See what I'm talking about, guys? Amnesia's freaking broken. Freaking, freaking broken. Because now these Venonats can't touch me. Because the only thing these Venonats can do is Toxic and then hit me with Special Attacks. And, or I guess you could use another X attack. Why does he even have X attack when all of his most powerful moves are special? This makes no sense, Koga. Koga, you are terrible at this game. In fact, like I think every single gym leader I've fought so far has just been absolutely terrible at like Pokemon strategy. And maybe not Brock. Brock actually, you know, fought okay. He just sucks. But I mean, like Misty was using some weird. She was using X defense while I was hitting it with Thunderbolts. And then like I think what was it. Lieutenant Surge, you started, like, thunderbolting me um, with when I had a ground Pokemon out. And now this Koga guy likes using X attacks, even though all he has is, like, tackle that he can use it with. Um, and I, I know that's, I know Erica did something stupid, too, but I can't remember what it is. But anyway, that, even that Venomath was not even... Venomoth was not even close, but yeah. So Koga sucks. I won, and that was easy. And I'm going to get the Soul Badge, which is awesome. And, um... Yeah, I'm on my way to being a Pokemon master, and Toxic will be useful. I'll probably put it on Flower Dino, but next video, I'm going to save my game and peace out because I'm already over 20 minutes. Um, look at my badges, so cool. Alright, peace out, homies. Jerks, bye.